Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, we are in the depths of hell, and that's okay! Which is weird to say, but it is okay because we are going to go into the primary research facility. Amongst all the death and destruction that is down here, we do have that to look forward to. But before I do that, I don't have enough resources to be able to build more lockers, so I just gotta read names. But anyway, thank you to JFXAM who said, Mark, if Big Box Berry is about to blow up, be sure to get in your prawn suit, because you'll lo lose anything that's docked if the sub's health reaches zero. You can salvage Cyclops parts, but not salvage what was docked. And I don't think that matters anyway, because if I lose this, I've lost everything. If I lose this, I might as well start over, which I practically will be doing. So I'm gonna make a very concerted effort not to lose this. Hi. How are you doing, buddy? And then there's Mark Does Stuff who says, Mark, don't think of these as caves. Think of it as a mouth of a really, really big monster. And I am thinking of that now, and thank you, I didn't want to think of that. Thank you very much. Then that guy yet again says, Mark, I swear every time you get that perfect times pants pissing, it just makes the frantic yelling worth it. Well, thank you. I'd like to think that the game is programmed to respond to my freaking out nature. And then Gaming Remorte, who said you should totally end the series by going scuba diving deep in the ocean. And you know what? That actually sounds pretty fun. If I was actually able to do that, go into one of those shark cages and just sit in the bottom of the ocean and kind of figure out a way to film that and piss my pants a whole lot, I'll have a water reclamation suit after all. But anyway, enough skedaddling around, we gotta go into here. And I, I don't know why it's so dark all of a sudden! I don't know why I can't see anything, it is like pitch black and I don't know why. So I'm just gonna, ooh, hee hee, ha ha, uh ha -huh ha, try the camera system. Ugh, oh my god, what happened? It's so dark! It's so dumb. Oh, hey, 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 hey! I am rigged for silent running! If you could not do that, that'd be great. Oh. Ah, what am I hitting? All right, we're fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. Oh, I don't like that I don't know where the Leviathan went. Where did Levi go? Where did the Dargan go? Ah. Oh. This place is horrible. This place is the worst kind of place. Where is he? Oh, hi, okay, not necessary, buddy. Oh, th oh, there you are! I'm headed straight for you! Oh, God. Okay. <sighs> we gotta get in there. We gotta sneak around. I've got the blue key. I've got the blue key. I've got the blue key, which I've been told is for this thing. Hey, 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 hey! Enough! All right, enough! Oh boy. Ooh, that is a slow, lazy circle in my... Oh, hi. <sighs> okay, all right. I am silently running! Oh, don't look at me! Fuck, how did he... How is there so much life down here with this asshole? Oh, God. Oh, that guy got beat. That guy got beat into the... Into the primary research. Oh. You're not... I'm not coming. Oh, hey, 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 hey! Oh! That guy got annihilated! Ah, wait! Okay, we're fine. Okay, he seems to be going over there, which is my chance to go in here. Sorry, Warper, you're about to get whammed. Oh, there's so many Warpies! Why are there so many Warpers? Oh, boy. I don't know if I'm gonna make it here. I'm gonna try. Yee! Hi. Okay. Hello. Hi. Go away, please. Oh boy. Oh boy. Everyone is getting a little sassy today. Oh, hey, oh, okay. Hit that. Squeezed a little too tightly there. Oh boy. Okay. All right. You're fine. You're fine, and I'm fine. We're fine together. Oh. Okay. I thought he was coming for me. Uh, just screaming a little loud. Okay. I think we're in position. So if I. Go down, get my blue- am I silently running? I better- I bet- I better be rigged for- okay, good. I am. Huh. Alright, so I just need to go down, grab the key, get in there. Ugh. That's all I need to do. Should I take my prawn suit? Yeah, it'd probably be a good idea, probably a good idea. Let me just drop off some of the shit I got in here. Ooh. Okay. So this is all I need. 
I should be good to go. Big box berry. It's been a wild ride. If I don't make it back, well, try to get home without me. I don't know if you can, but if you can try, go for it. I'm just gonna save one last time before I go out of here. <sighs> Alright, let's do this. Hee-opty! Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Oh, don't do this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't do this. You've done this before. Don't do this again. So you need to boink, and then you boink. <sighs> don't do that to me. Hey, fucking hi. Who did that? Oh! Hi! Ho! Ho! Ah! Oh, God! Oh, boy. Ah! No! No, 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 no. I will fight you to the death. Oh, let me out of here. Oh, boy. Oh, get in, 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 oh, bam! Oh. Oh. Fuck. okay. So, I don't see... I don't see an access panel anywhere around here. Uh. Whew. All right. I don't see an access panel, but I see things in there, which is different than it was before. So I'm gonna go in there. I just gotta figure out how. I guess I also need to fix up this guy. Sorry, big guy. Didn't mean for you to get hurt like that. Okay. Let me see. Oh! 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 As easy as that. They don't have any base here, so all I did was use the same thing I used for the Aurora High. What the hell was that all about? Okay. Man, that guy is angry that I'm getting in here. Okay, so what I should use as a disclaimer is to say that everything in here is temporary. So I'm not going to permanently be in here because it's not, it's not for me yet. Unless I have a compelling reason not to. Oh my god. Okay. Ah. Yes. Ooh. Ah. Oh, hi. Sorry to be interrupting around here, but I'm just, you know, curious about what's going on. Now hop out. That's a giant thing of ion crystals that I could get if I wanted. But I don't know if I necessarily want to, because I kind of want to make everything temporary for now. Emperor Project Data. What does this say? This device records data from the primary research specimen at this facility. According to the logs, an indigenous life form referred to as the Emperor Specimen was found to produce a unique substance they referred to as Enzyme 42, which inhibited the symptoms of the infection in other indigenous organisms. The specimen was captured and contained here, in addition to the eggs it was found guarding. The alien researchers went to great lengths to provide for the for life form's environmental needs, including the import of inter interdependent flora and fauna via the on-site warp gate. However, However, its health quickly began to deteriorate. At the time of the bacterial outbreak and resulting quarantine, all attempts to develop the enzyme into a vaccine had been unsuccessful. Fascinating. I wonder why that is. Okay, alright, then you do what you need to do. I really do wonder why that is. Why would there be nothing for that? Ooh, what is this? I don't know! Shall I scan you? Ooh, alien relic. The markings on this device seem to serve no purpose beyond decoration. It may be the alien equivalent of a lamp or magnifying glass used to examine other relics in more detail. Alrighty then, fancy that. Well, what's this one? Another lamp, you say? Let's see, despite its simple design, this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet and most of the solar system. Fortunately, it has malfunctioned. So why is it, why is it on display here? What were the aliens trying to do? Ugh, weird. And this one looks like some kind of bug. Ugh. Or a turd. This rock-like material features biomechanical parts that match components identified in the warpers encountered in 4546B. Materials such as this may even have been fundamental building block of the alien's own self-repairing mechanisms. Interesting. I call it a turd. An alien turd. Because what this seems like, it seems like a museum for someone that doesn't know what's going on here. It is unclear why technology of this sophistication has not been found elsewhere on the planet. Its production may have been restricted or too costly, or it may have been pillaged from a more ancient civilization. That's weird to think about. Just a continuing, like, train of different, older, alien civilizations here. I mean, it's entirely possible. 
This alien device appears to be designed to eliminate all organic substances in a range by emitting a lethal but contained radioactive field. Ah, good! I'm gonna assume that's good. And everyone's gonna be happy when that happens. Ooh. I'm just kind of going through this methodically. I don't know which one's gonna lead to where, but I'm just gonna go in each door. Kind of find out for myself. Oh! Ah, that's the- oh, these must all be doors that lead to individual warp gate. Oh! Insert fuel crystal. Well, time to go harvest some fuel crystals, I guess. Didn't know- ah, ow, okay. Didn't know that I need to do that. At least I can crack them open right here in the center and be enough to fuel all the warp gates. Which is really, really fascinating. Cause holy shit. Okay, can I- oh, I didn't need to jump apparently. Skadooski! Don't mind me! Just mining up some nuclear material here. Super powerful, very fragile stuff. Could blow up everything. Could blow up absolutely everything. Yep. Good thing diamonds are enough to just shatter this to pieces. Oh, is this the crux of all your alien technology? Let me just slam a hammer into it for my own personal gain. No one's gonna complain, right? Uh, so once I get this, I can put these into the teleporters and then activate them. But again, I don't know if I want to do this all yet because this is all temporary. Because it's not ready yet. It, it just like, it, whoa. Why is that? Like, why, why? I don't, I'm not, okay. Okay, did I get them all? Oh! Unlimited? Unlimited? Are you kidding me? Unlimited? Oh my god, there's more relics over there. I'll get those in a second, but unlimited? Ah, if it wasn't temporary. Oh, God, it would. Oh, I would. Okay, let me just go back here. I'm gonna see what the fuck is up with this. And I'm gonna see where it goes. Because if I can go in it, I kind of want to see where it leads me. Ah, uh, I have no idea. Skadoosh? Ooh. Huh, I- Yeah, oh, that's- That's, that's a little off. Oh my god. So that's why I could never power them, because they were never powered from the other side. Whoa! Okay, well, I went around to- Whoa! Hello! Whoa. This is the alien research one? Is this- is this what this one is? Oh. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, that's so cool. I, I will go back in just a second. I just want to see exactly where I am. I'm 600 meters down, so I must be in the Lost River, which must mean that this is the Lost River Research Facility, right? But I don't remember this being here. I don't remember any of this being here. Oh, oh, that's the same thing. Sorry. Oh, no, I remember this. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I know this isn't my primary objective right now, but I'm just too curious. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. I don't even know where that is. Oh, that's so cool. But now, ah, but I don't. Ah, god, it's just, ugh. I'm trying to exercise a little bit of self-discipline here. Because it's not, it's not ready. It's not ready, it's not ready. Because this is supposed to be the end of the game. Like, this area, the alien research facility, or the primary research facility, is supposed to be the absolute end of the game. Oh, I pissed myself! It was so exciting! Ah! But if it is the end of the game, then I want to make sure that it's actually, like, all said and done before I actually do it. So, I'm assuming that all of these chambers in here... Oh, this is gonna hurt again. Ow, why did I do that? But all of these chambers in here must lead to other teleporters, right? That's what they are. So I don't need to go to all of them. Oh. Well, this one's- this one's different. What is- Oh, okay. Just bleeding through a little bit. Don't mind anything here. Oh. Little bit unfinished. That's why I said it's- it's not finished. Ooh. This device records all available physical data from a single point in time. The last recorded data set was captured just after quarantine was imposed on the facility. Specimen data. The main containment chamber here housed a Sea Emperor Leviathan and its eggs. The parent Leviathan's health had deteriorated. Its eggs appeared to be in good condition, but in some form of natural stasis. 
Alien structures. The data shows that within the vast specimen contained unit, an incubation system had been constructed to house the Leviathan's eggs. Likely, the alien researchers had refocused their efforts to develop a vaccine on the unborn infants. The incubation system, incubation system suggests they had resorted to developing artificial hatching enzymes, which would stimulate the natural hatching environment. When quarantine was imposed, all warp gates and access points to the facility were sealed. While the unborn emperor specimens may have held some potential for the development of a vaccine, it is highly unlikely that parent or child survived having their food supply cut off and being isolated from the rest of their ecosystem. Fascinating. Huh? Fascinating in this dark, unlit room of which I don't huh? want to be here. But that's also super cool because it's, it's like, it's talking about this was a thousand years ago. So that's how these eggs survived. The only way they survived was because they had a natural stasis. And this must be another warp gate. But I just want to be certain. Huh? Like maybe the side chambers are. Yeah, it is. Oh, but I don't. Oh, I might as well activate it. You know, you never know. Maybe. Ah, oh, I just feel so bad. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want to do it all yet. Ah. Oh. Oh well, you know what? It's here. I better stop warring with myself about it. You know, I've never let it stop me before if I see something that wasn't ready yet because I didn't let that spoil the end experience because that's what this is about. And it's about the end experience and seeing where it goes and where it'll take you. And that's what it is. Oh, a sword, huh? That's awfully... It's awfully ancient. Huh. The ancient earth blade? Earth blade? Dated back to the 13th century Mongolian Empire, blood samples on the blade match the DNA of seven separate heads of state from the period. Why is there an earth blade here? Are these, are these just all relics from different alien civilizations? That looks like yin and yang. This carving is hundred of hundreds of thousands of years old and made from an unrecognized natural fiber, likely grown on an as yet undiscovered planet. So these aliens, they were researchers. They were explorers. They were just exploring the galaxy, trying to find things. Whoa. This weapon appears to be millions of years old and matches no previously encountered technologies. That's weird because it looks so simple. That's bizarre, but you know enough to... No, it's a weapon, I guess. Alien reliquary, that's just the holding tank that it's in. Ugh. Case is composed of an impregnable translucent metal at the distant end of the periodic table. Scans do not reveal any contents. Righty ho, then. What is this lovely thing? It's beautiful. This device is a rudimentary version of the keys used to access these facilities. It may have been kept here for symbolic purposes or legacy support. Interesting. So they developed new tech while they were here? I mean, that's what they must do. They must just salvage other tech. This device is some form of communications relay. Apparently, they're projecting the presence of the user to a remote location. There do not seem to be any other devices in range. Oh, so just a communicator. Okay. Oh, the, oh I was about to say, that looked unfinished. Okay, I'm going to worry about the teleporters later. I just want to see if there's, like, something else here that I can get. Let me just drink some piss, and I'll wait for the food block. That's a last resort. Ooh. Unfinished? No, not unfinished. Whoa! And what in der heck is this? Whoa! Some kind of pumping system, probably for the. For, oh, I was right. For the probably for the tank that they use for the emperor. This machinery is pumping water to and from the attached pipe network. Oxygen-deprived water is being flooded from the system. Analysis of the water composition flowing in indicates it is being drawn from different biomes between here and the surface of the planet. The water temperature is considerably lower than the volcanic environment outside the facility and oxygen-rich. You mean to tell me... Okay, this is, this is astonishing if you think about it. You mean to tell me they have pipes through the entire planet just for pumping water. Number one, how did they dig the holes to be able to put in the pipes? And number two, how did they place the pipes after they dug the holes? How did they do that? I mean, of all the technological marvelous things, oh, there's more down there. Of all the things that I've seen thus far, that kind of raises a lot of questions. And I don't have any answers to that. Oh, and where does this go? Oh, man. I know this is going to be, like, a long episode because there is so much to explore in here. Oh, my God. It's not even done yet. That's the crazy thing. It's not done yet. Ah. Oh. 
is huge. Oh, that's not done either. Okay, well, peer into the face of death. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so far down! Hey, buddy, how you doing down there? You stuck? Yeah, I bet you are. Okay, besides the other two teleporters, that means there's only one more place to go, or maybe two more places? I don't know. This place is so confusing, you never know which way you're gonna go. But I think... I think I may be close to getting to the actual place where the Emperor is housed. Which is really cool. Alright, okay, so there's that place right there. Which is a thing, and then there's up there. So what is over here? Whoa, what is that? Okay, hang on, I'll come back for that because I don't want to use the unlock doors command just yet because I don't want to be disappointed or get there too soon because there's something else up here that kind of leads towards the front of the building. And I don't know what it is, but it may just be, whoa. Okay. Ha, ah, what is is supposed to be in here? Eww. It whispers in my mind. What is this? Oh, uh, oh! These are the eggs! Oh! And this one either got broken or it hatched? What the hell? Oh. Ooh. Shell composition. The shell casing is formed of thick layers of carbon composites, suggesting an extensive gestation period. The Leviathan species may give birth just once per century, perhaps just once in their lifetimes. Precise incisions suggest a laser-based tool was used to cut open the egg casing and forcibly remove the fetus inside, prior to full gestation. Time pressure to develop a bacterial vaccine may have driven the alien researchers to cut open this egg and remove the fetus for study. Huh. God, that's scary. And it is also possible that removed from its parent and natural habitat, some vital condition for the infant to hatch naturally was not met. Interesting. So it's safe to say that these... These fetuses probably did not... Whoa, hi, okay, that is suspect. Oh, okay, hi. Okay! That, that's weird. Don't know why that's happening. Okay, I'm just gonna get out of here because that's freaking weird. Okay, so that That is really fascinating That's really fascinating Ugh, Super weird, but anyway, there's only one more place to go and I'm gonna go there right about now Funk soul brother Oh there it goes That's weird. That's weird weird Okay, in we go Oh, and again, I'm very sorry for you. Whoa! Vaccine development program terminated. Emperor egg hatching project terminated. Live specimens terminated. Evacuate immediately. Oh. Well, that doesn't sound very good. Ooh, that sounds bad. Period. Oh. What the fuck? What happens if I just jump in there? Hey! Oh, hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, owie! Oh, owie! Oh, maybe it was a bad idea to jump in here. Maybe it was a bad idea. Maybe this was a bad idea. Oh, I'm gonna say this is a bad idea. Oh, boy. What, am I still in the water? Why do I hear the gurgle? Okay, I heard a little gurgle and I didn't like that, but okay. Oop. Okay, skadooski. Okay. So either... Either I go up there and I try to unlock that door, or I go through here. Swing swung! George of the Dung Jungle, baby! Oh, not quite. Oh, okay. Oh, there's nothing here. Ah, that's why. It's just a wall. Let me try this just in case. Yeah. This is just a wall. Whoa. Hello? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, ha! Oh. Hi! Oh! Hi! Hello! Oh, hi! Hello! Hi! Hi! Hello! Hi! Hello! Hi! Oh, okay. Alright. That's weird. Oh, wow! Oh, okay! Oh! 
Okay. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, oh, big guy. Okay. All right. Hi. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. That's so scary. You're huge. Oh, that's cool, though. Hi. Oh my god. Uh, hang on, I'm about to run out of oxygen. I brought my, uh, I, br I brought my prawn suit over here. For just such an occasion. Oh my god. Okay, alright then. Hey, you booski. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, alright. Jesus, that's so weird. That is so- oh, okay! Alright. Hi. Hello? Okay! I'm just gonna fall, I guess! I don't know how I'm gonna be able to get out of here now, but okay. Oh boy. Wumpage. Oh. Are those your eggs? Oh. Oh, that is freaking terrifying. That is terrifying. And those are huge. Oh, those are huge ion crystals. Oh my god. Oh, that's so weird. And these are your eggs? Oh, these are your eggs. Oh. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Oh, don't look at me like that! Oh, don't look at me like that! Oh, hi. Hello. Are you coming in? Oh, hi. Hello. Hi. Heidi, 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 ho! Oh, okay. Oh, boy. Oh, hi. All right. Hello! Hi. Oh, 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 it's scary. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's terrifying. Do you want me to use this? You want me to? Oh, 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 I didn't bring those. Oh, I didn't bring those. Hatching enzymes, mysterious enzymes from creep vine sample. Oh, I don't have that. Oh my god. Oh man. That's so weird. What would happen if you used this? If I actually brought creep vine down here and used them with the hatching enzymes, like what would I do? Oh, this is so weird. What does it say? Uh, shell. Uncommonly strong. Shell lining organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be hundreds of years old. Alien devices penetrate the outer layer of the shell, likely designed to supply them with nutrients and to isolate them from the surrounding environments. Unlike most eggs where a nutrient supply is slowly exhausted by the embryo, these eggs exist in a form of natural stasis, likely awaiting ideal hatching conditions. Fetal organism, there is a high genetic match between these organisms and the leviathan in the vicinity. They appear to be stable and healthy, it is likely that ideal hatching conditions vary considerably from ideal conditions for survival of the parents. The local ecosystems appear to have prioritized the latter. Weird. Oh, that's- Oh, excuse me, that's so weird. Oh, man. Oh, man, the jamba. Hi! Hello! Okay, alright then. See ya! Ah, so you were waiting to see what I would do to the eggs. Ah. So what would happen if I did this? Would it mean anything if I did this now? I don't know. And that's the thing, right? I don't know because all of this is unfinished. Like, even this, it tastes wrong. You know what I mean? Because I didn't earn this yet. I didn't earn any of this. I don't know what all of this means because I didn't get here, like, legitimately. And he's coming back just to say hi to me because I'm- he's waiting to see what I could do. But it feels wrong. You know what I mean? I'm right on the cusp of something here and I- 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 <sighs> I can't bring myself to go get hatching enzymes and do this because it's not here yet. And I'm not gonna cheat and get him. Like, I'm not. I refuse to do that. I've already cheated enough thus far, and 
This all ties into why I said this was temporary. I said at the beginning of this episode, I said that this was temporary, and here's why. I'm gonna make a decision that's gonna be very unpopular popular with a lot of people, but I have reasons for it. When I set out to make this new adventure in Subnautica about, what is it, 40, 50 episodes ago, I set out to do this because I wanted to experience everything. Everything there was in Subnautica, and the tragic thing about it is that it is early access, and that means that things are unfinished. And yet I set out on a journey that was futile in the beginning because it was not all there. And I had some hopes that they might finish the game, but the game is not released yet. And even here, right on the precipice of what could potentially be the end of the game, it doesn't feel right if I were to get enzymes, cheat with them, and see that right then and there. And you know why? It's because I wouldn't have earned it. The beautiful thing about me playing this game up until this point is that I had earned everything, and I felt so bad in the past three episodes that I've had to cheat to unlock doors because I didn't earn that. It didn't feel right. It wasn't right because it wasn't ready. And I've, I've pushed some boundaries getting into here because I know you guys wanted to be in this room with that sea emperor and seeing what happens when you hatch these eggs. But to be perfectly honest, I don't think anything would because it's not done and it's not ready. And I don't know for certain if it is or isn't, but I'm going to end this here. This is it for Subnautica for now. And I know that's sad to hear, and it's sad for me to say because I've had so much fun on this journey, but I've had fun on it because of the way I did it. And because of the, the, the like amazing things that I saw along the way, and because of the hardships that I had to go through to be able to get to this point. That's what makes games fun. It's a fantastic world and you have to earn it. That's the beautiful thing behind it. And that's what makes it so sad when you have to say goodbye, you know. I mean, this emperor is looking at me, looming over me in huge, the biggest thing I've seen yet in the game. And I cannot cheat. I will not cheat. And I will not even go out and get the stuff and see if it will work here. Not because of the time, it'd be easy with the teleporters, but just because it's not ready. So this is the end of the road for me in Subnautica. I know this has been a long speech, I didn't prepare it or anything, but I just wanted to justify it to you guys why I am setting Subnautica down for now. Because it is not done. It's all temporary. But it will be done soon. When the game goes live and it actually has an ending, when it actually has everything done here, I will revisit this game. But until then, I have to say goodbye for now. And again, I know that's not gonna make a lot of people happy, but it's what's right. And it'll be even better when you earn it. When I earn that ending, when I earn what's here, when I earn this, like, when I earn the answers, to all the questions in my mind. When I earn them, it'll be so much more satisfying. And it'll be so cool. But don't worry, I'm not, when I pick it back up, I'm not gonna start a new game and it's not gonna be another 50 episodes. That's why I said everything was temporary. I'm not gonna save after this. I'm gonna end it here and I'm gonna restart back in the old save. Make sense? It should be well worth the wait. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!